Hey everybody, Pastor Jason and Pastor Jennifer back here with you on this Turn It Around Thursday. And we are we are in this Thursday, but we are also in the closing days of our 21 days of fasting and prayer. But we are not in, not in the closing days of our fasting for the year. Something that, that Pastor Harold began to bring up to us, Pastor Andy and I continue to thought, and I'm continuing with you, is that is that our fasting is not going to end for 2019 on day 21. Come on. Now it's going to become a regular part Come on. of who we are That's and right. what we do. That's and, right. and, you know, I talked to, on Tuesday about how the Spirit of the Lord had ministered to me, challenged me to, to actually expand my fasting and prayer for this year, mm. that, that there was a, a discipline, uh, even higher discipline, a further discipline that he wanted to develop in my life with regards to fasting this year. And so that's been the expansion that's going on there. And you and I have been sharing off camera mm -hmm. about how the Lord has been stretching you and expanding you. And, and so you have a little personal thing <laughs> that you want to share with us. And, uh, and, and what's, I tell you what's wonderful here is that we have the opportunity uh, and, and, and we call it an opportunity. And, uh, but we sure had to let the Holy Spirit call us, help us call it an opportunity, but we have an opportunity to be, transparent here that's right and to be able to to say to people by the way just just because uh you know uh we are we are pastors uh doesn't mean that we walk around all day with our our bibles under our nose and our hand in the air and and doing everything right we uh we have vulnerabilities and we have uh we have challenges and weaknesses like everybody else things that we have to power through and we have to fight through uh, and so, so for you, you were talking about, uh, with me about, about being challenged in that, mm -hmm. that whole, um, iron sharpening iron mm -hmm. type of thing. And how, uh, as I think we alluded to it yesterday is that the Lord put some people in your life, mm -hmm. life to, to irritate your complacency mm -hmm. in Come a certain on. area. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, so it turns out that I became an irritant. <laughs> that is not what I, said. <laughs> I was probably more of the irritant. <laughs> oh, that's, oh funny. that's funny. Um, let, let's go. Let's go just back from yesterday, just okay. for a second. I moved around a lot. Yeah, uh, I made the joke about losing transcripts from schools because mm -hmm. we moved around a lot and mm -hmm. uh, trying to find out back then. That was before they really had the tag and knowing where to put you. Right. Um, so I was I was better in some sub subjects and others I lacked in. Yes. One thing I enjoyed was spelling. Mm -hmm. uh, I was pretty good in English, but I was not a reader. Never have been. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me just say this. You can't blame God for your situation where you're at right wow. now. Wow. Wow. It's easy to go back and say, well, if I hadn't had the lifestyle brought up by wow. at that home, yep. you know, you can go back and say it was all. I could, I could sit there all day, Pastor, and say, well, if my parents have not moved me around. Mm -hmm. But you are who you are by the experiences, the things that have mm -hmm. molded you. And it's your response to things that have Come tempered you. On. When you're going through the fire, it's your response to the mm. heat that's been placed upon you. My God, that's a so, word. So you know Woo. that that's what that's what I came with. Well, here God places this gift in our in our lives, <laughs> <laughs> and it's a good gift. He's a precious. He is, yeah. Miss Dolly. You know he's precious. <laughs> and so uh, he's an avid reader. I don't know that, but he's at his office. You know, he first this was when you were here last year. Mm -hmm. when he first moved in. That your tent's already been picked up, moved down the hall. So you've already yeah. been so uh, and on on your bookshelf, you have all these books, and I'm like, wow, what book has never seen that one? So I'm showing an interest. Like, yeah, I like books, but I like many books because mm -hmm. I know me. I'm easily distracted. I have mm -hmm. to really, you know, keep the blinders on to stay focused mm -hmm. on a task if I'm going to complete something. So I have made myself set myself as focus. I set before myself an accountability partner, mm -hmm. and I said, Lord. There's something in him that I know I need, but wow. I'm not going to ask him. So you're going to have to hit me over the head. Well, here comes God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pray that because he did. And he said, you need to ask him. Wow. And he gives me, you gave me five books. Of course, he's going to help me out because mm -hmm. I'm going to forget them. Uh, you need, you, of course, with the Bible and with your daily, your morning devotion. Mm -hmm. And let me just say that if you don't start your day with God, you've pretty much left him out of the rest of your day. It's tough. Okay? Yeah. Because you can always say, well, I'll just do it at night. You're too sleepy. I Believe me, I know it. Mm -hmm. I wrote the book on that. You'll see it at, at uh, Barnes & Noble's <laughs> one day. Just kidding. Um, so you have your you have the Bible. You have your devotional book, whatever that is, mm -hmm. or however you do that. You have a spiritual book, mm -hmm. like like on whether it be uh, leadership or 
or well, something? or just something that that is over either a spiritual subject or a spiritual yes. discipline or a thing like okay. that. Yeah, and then leadership. And then leadership. leadership. Yeah. So those are books for personal growth. Mm -hmm. And then what he calls a pleasure book, which could be about anything. It doesn't have to be about mm -hmm. leadership or the other four. Mm -hmm. So I wrote those down, and I even snapped it with my phone because I didn't. I had it written down, but I didn't want to forget that. And I mm -hmm. started looking in my home. I started thinking of books that I could put. Mm -hmm. So last year, my plight was, wow, I'm going to have five books. I'm just going to do five books. So here's where he goes. Y'all ready? This is vulnerability, <laughs> vulnerability time. He comes in at the end of the week. How are we doing reading? Mm -hmm. uh, great, great. Uh, I've read <clears throat> 10 pages. Awesome. Which books? Because you said you do buy yours by location. Mm -hmm. He has one in his car. You have one by your nightstand at home or something like that mm -hmm. in your room or whatever. Just pretty so much everywhere where that you? I, oh, yeah. I am. You yeah. have a place. Okay, so I was there again. I was trying to be like him. Yeah. Never have been an avid reader. So I'm going to take take the whole elephant and just yeah. eat the whole thing. That did not work because yeah. at the end of the year, I had to come to, <clears throat> I had to come to, you know, render Caesar what was Caesar's. I had to pay. <laughs> I had to pay Piper when I pay the Piper when I did. I just said, oh, Pastor Jason. This is not good. He said, okay, well, so this, here's 2019, mm -hmm. and it's time to expand. Yeah. Let's start again. Yeah. So what are you going to do this year? Obviously, we're not going to repeat mm -hmm. what we tried last year because right. that worked for you. Yeah. But there again, I was never, that was not a habit. Because, right. you know, if I don't make it, if I don't make it a daily discipline, something right. that I develop yeah. is not going to ever be. And, and my mother, who was also an avid reader, uh, who, who gave me that gift yes. of, of being an avid reader, uh, the way that I read uh, the, even the thought of it drives my mother crazy. Oh, really? And so, so it's not for everybody. I understand I'm a pretty odd duck. <laughs> and so uh, it's not for everybody. And, and so it just turns out that it wasn't for you. Yeah. But for you, you did not, you did not look at your inability to do it as a failure. Yeah. You looked at that looked at it as a setback and you yeah. use that setback to propel you forward. Dang so, yeah. so now let's start celebrating you. Yeah. Amen. So, yeah. <laughs> so I was thinking the scriptures when I was, when we were talking about that Proverbs mm -hmm. nine, nine says, give instruction to a wise man yes. and he will, he will still be, he will be still wiser. Teach a righteous man and he will increase, increase. in learning. <laughs> I was setting myself saying to God, I really, I really, I know he has great, Vocabulary, Lord, my goodness! I was just thinking back in in uh, English lit, all the all the vocabulary words we had to know. And you will say some, and I'll you'll say them periodically. One will just fly out of your mouth. I'll just let you know I can't repeat it because it's at least this long <laughs> to spell. Yeah. It's not super califragilistic. I mean, it's, it's big, you know. So you find yourself like I must have missed out on on oh nine oh in college or whatever. Right. You find yourself, but God is saying that was then. Yes. And this, this is, is now. Are. Yeah. So I wanted to increase in learning. I yeah. was like, God, where do I start? So we yeah. started this year with little books. And I, and so I, I told you, I said, okay, well, I'm going to try this. I like Kindle. I have a, uh, you know, my phone. I, I like it because it's, it's very easily accessible. Mm -hmm. I can download the books on my phone. Yeah. But, and I have several where I, but at least I can, you can bookmark, you mm -hmm. can, uh, you know, save spots like you do highlighting yes. in a regular book. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to worry about having a pen all the time. You don't have to worry about laying your book somewhere and leaving it. Mm -hmm. You have it with you because your phone is pretty much your computer and everything else. Yes. Luke 2, 52 says, and Jesus increased in wisdom yes. and in stature and in favor with God and man. Wow. I wanted to increase in my influence. Yeah. And I know that leaders are what? Readers. And I know not every leader is a reader. I understand that. But mm -hmm. this leader wants, to, wants yeah. to increase in learning. Now, you can stay where you're at. But friend, I'm almost, you know, what's that song? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> see, you wouldn't want to be. You know, I'm, I'm comical because a lot of that's just because I refuse to sit back and cry over right. things that have happened. Absolutely. But I can't do nothing about. That's right. But today I can, and I have set myself to learn. Yes. So in one of the um, devotions that you and Pastor Andy were doing, you mm -hmm. had shown a book mm -hmm. on um, fasting by uh, Michael Dow. Mm -hmm. It was this book right here. And when he held it up, I paused the um, video and I said, huh, I've read some books on fasting. Mm -hmm. um, now, that was when I was really focusing on reading. And uh, I, I wonder if this is any better. Well, folks, let me tell you, I downloaded it on my phone and I was, I was, at the, okay, can I celebrate? Celebrate. This is my celebrate. Please celebrate. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I got it. I got it. There's a big bulb up here. Y'all just don't see it. I finished that book. Yeah. 
I've, it took me two days, but hey, this yeah. is, this is important for me. Yeah, I finished this book, and that it was not so much that Jennifer finished the book. Yes, I was so set focused. God, let mm -hmm. me have it. Let me have a championship. Yeah, thing. Right. You know that I can say, wow. Now that's yeah. just one. That's just one of. That's one of but, many that of are many happen that are going to happen. Yeah. But I set myself to draw. Yes, and I said, Lord, you know, there's many great things that mm -hmm. you possess, Pastor Jason. Many gifts, but that right there, I knew if I was going to even get onto that level. I had to deny myself of some time. Yes. I had to set myself. And the fact that it was mm -hmm. on the topic of where we were right. was even more exciting. Right. Um, so anyway, uh, I, I, I just jotted some things down. And however mm -hmm. the Lord wants to leave this real quick, I just wanted to share. Mm -hmm. He says that an increased capacity means an increase in what Jesus is able to say. Wow. And how we are able to hear it. Wow. John 16, 12 says there is so much more that Jesus is speaking that he wanted to tell them but they could not bear it. There are times, Pastor Jason, yeah. I will come. Have you ever done that? Maybe you have done this, but you'll come. I'll come and I'll say, Pastor Jason, just point it out to me. Mm -hmm. Whatever I need to do to straighten up, you know, speak speak life to mm -hmm. me, whatever. Speak correction. Yeah. Be careful when you pray those things. Because I can tell you that whom the Lord loves, he, he chastens. chastens. Yes, I am very much loved by my father. <laughs> Can I tell you that? Tell me about <laughs> it. <laughs> I get a lot of correct. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, you know, correction yeah. doesn't have to be a negative thing. Right. It's a call to change. Yes. It's a call to come up higher. Yes. And and like you and Pastor Andy and Pastor Harold and all of those that you've been speaking with, Pastor Luke, about the change in our thinking, yes. the expanding in our increase of yes. in our area of influence, mm -hmm. those things, you cannot stay where you are. Companies, marketing strategies, yes. if they do the same thing mm -hmm. in 1985, if they do that here, they will never last. Never last. They would be run, they would run out of business. That's right. So so where God is moving us, I knew this was important. Our pastor has given us in the years that I've been here, he's given us several uh not 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 volunteered word reading, mm -hmm. but uh, required reading. Yeah, yes. And I'll tell you what, it was challenging. Mm -hmm. But when I knew my pastor read it, I said, well, there's no excuse. Yes. And then, bless the Lord, if he didn't put you right there across the hall. <laughs> uh, well, good, here we are again, so we're going to try this right. again. Right. So that right there, there's more. There's much more that I want God to say to me. I want to yes. hear what he's saying. And yeah, he's and, always speaking. And I want to be able to bear it. Yes, yes. That, that, that from Jesus, he was saying... There's so much more I want to tell yes. you. Yes. You just can't take it right now. And I don't want for him to have to continually look at Jason Branson and say, Come on. there's so many more things Come I want on. to say to you. Come on. There's so much more revelation I want to give mm. you. There's so much more. There's so much more uh, uh, things I want to place in your life. But, yeah. but Jay, you're nowhere near ready right now. Mm. And, and so what we're doing is, is we are we are, are are expanding ourselves for you, you know. One of the things that I have seen is that that as the Lord has added people to you, that <clears throat> as you have ministered and and in some ways launched people to an aspect, it's not like you launched them. It's like, oh man, I launched them. Now I'm out of people. Mm. It's like you launch, and then there, there's just a whole new group around Praise you. God. And, and so what's happening is, is that as you're doing that, your capacity is increasing. And it's almost like the Lord is saying, there's so many more people I want to give you. Come on. Wow. But you can't bear it now. Mm, mm. What a great thing it is for, for the God of heaven to say, say, man, you did a great job with that. You've been faithful over little. Now I'm going to make you ruler over much. You know what just came to me when you were saying Go on ahead. Strength to bear. When I was in labor. Mm. I was giving birth to my second, our second child, and I didn't know that the church I was serving as worship pastor at the time was praying. I didn't know that I was in the wonderful moments, you know, of pushing. Yeah, <laughs> they were praying strength to bear. Wow! And it was a, it was a diff not very difficult. But it's just a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> all the women can say, "I mean, you know, we know what that's about." But the pushing and the bearing, there's there's a strain there. Mm -hmm. There's many things that he wants to say, but we can't bear them. Wow. We can't. We can't bear. Wow. I want to be a fruitful tree, Pastor yes, Jason. I want to bear much fruit. Yes, I want many to be under my ministry. Yeah, yeah. I want to bear and give birth to things in the spirit. Woo. I want to be able for God to my say God. when when He does say those things. There's many more that I want to send, but you can't bear the ones you have. Yeah. So now, when you just said that, that just released something in me. Yeah. 
So that lets me know I was coming in this room to take this on one level, and now God's just catapulted me into yes, something man. else. I just heard that, that there's many he wants to send, but I've got to be able to bear them. God. So to prepare for, for the for the carrying, yes, the birthing yes, of man. those to come. Praise God. Yeah, I, I think for us, Pastor Jennifer, is we we have to be uh we have to be a group of people that understand that the kingdom of heaven is constantly advancing. And that's what, what the what the word of the Lord was. Amen. And that if we are going to stay with the kingdom, we have yes. to be constantly advancing as well. Amen. And so, so we, you know, this gets back into a little bit of what we were, we were talking about with Pastor Harold mm -hmm. uh, last week mm -hmm. is that we are, we are expanding through decrease. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then basically what it is, is that it's, it's what Jesus is saying. If anyone will come after me, yes, yes. let him deny himself, yes. Yes. take up his cross and follow me. And I think about this because so yes. many of us, Pastor Jennifer, want to know the end. Of a thing, so God, you know? what, what's going to happen to me? What's <laughs> yeah. going to happen to me uh, yeah. on this thing? So, so what I'd like for you to do, God, is, is I hear you calling me to this. Uh, <laughs> I hear you calling me to this thing all the way down here. So tell me every step that leads up to it. Or Lord, I hear you calling me to the next step. Oh, wow. So what is that going to mean all the way down here? There will be no need for our faith. That's exactly right. Because we have all the answers. That's exactly right. And, okay. and here's, here's where God is saying to us is, you, I've shown you the end, so trust me with the middle. Mm -hmm. Or I've shown you what's next, so trust me with the rest. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Amen. and that is that is where we are. You know, yeah. uh, all you have to do is, as as the Spirit of the Lord has spoken you to to you today, it's not that I have to go out and find disciples. Mm. I have to prepare myself, and He'll just send them to me. My goodness. Isn't that Thank incredible? You, Lord. Amen. Isn't that Amen. incredible? So Amen. finish up with us. Tell us, Pastor Jennifer, I want you to, to take us now, take us all the way home to the to the place where we're going to go. And we're going to we're going to walk back to our tent pegs and we're going to uproot yeah, them and we're going to stretch said, them out. Yeah, you just said the kingdom of yeah. God is about increasing yes. and expanding. So, you know, are we just going to stay with our four and no more? Are we going to stay in a local church of 150, 150 to 200 people and, and thank God we've arrived? Mm -hmm. Why is there, why is it so important that you just, why, why, and I'm not, I'm not knocking any local church. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't mean that. But I mean, and it's not about the numbers. It's, yes. it's about, we are more interested in the internal mm -hmm. and eternal uh, condition yes. of somebody and their spiritual maturity mm -hmm. than we are with the capacity of how many people we mm -hmm. can mass out. Yeah. You know, and, and have the fire department come and shut us right. down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but if if the tent pegs are to be lengthened mm -hmm. and there's more coming and greater, how much more does God want us to lengthen yes. so that he can bring more for us yes. to carry, right. to be able to carry, to carry the load? Mm -hmm. And it's not a heavy thing. Yeah. It is a responsibility. Yeah. I think about it like this. There was a, there's a, a, a pastor in Alexandria, Louisiana. Uh, he pastors a, a Pentecostal church there. Uh, they call it the Pentecostals of Alexandria. His name is oh, Anthony yeah. Mangan. And uh, and his dad, G.A. Mangan, the late G.A. Mangan, uh, who went home to be with the Lord probably about five, four or five years ago, somewhere in that department. His dad, um, when he and his wife uh, moved to Alexandria, mm -hmm. uh, the Lord told him they were going to build a work there. They founded that work there. Oh, wow. Out of absolutely nothing. His mom mm. came in with an accordion and his dad came in with a Bible. And that's how they founded their church. Oh, and uh, But they went around Pastor Jennifer. And, and his father literally knocked on every door in Alexandria, Louisiana. Every door. And invited people to know Jesus. Every door. Today, that place sits as the centerpiece no, of Alexandria, is. Louisiana. Wow. But not just that, that literally people from all over the world come to that place. As a matter of fact, I think they are probably just days away from, from their annual conference called Because of the Times, mm -hmm. where they bring people in and just minister to them. Mm -hmm. They have, a, they have a, a sanctuary that seats somewhere in the neighborhood of, I think, 3,000 people, mm -hmm. 2,500, 3,000 people. 
they have to stop registration about three months before the conference because they have hit every capacity they have. Mm. But here's the beautiful thing about that. In that church, you can go to that church anytime, 24 hours a day, and there's somebody in that church praying. Praise God. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Without fail, there's somebody in there that is praying. Here's the other thing. When they come up to the beginning of the Because of the Times conference, literally, they have all just broken a fast. That they have fasted and prayed in the lead up to that for God to use them for the people that he's sending to them. And I think about that. The reason I said that, Pastor Jennifer, is I feel like that's where we are in this season. That this time of fasting has been a time of Thank preparation. You. It always is, and we know it. Yeah, yeah. But it's almost like the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to us so specifically. Mm -hmm. And saying to us, I'm sending you so many things. And right now during this fast, mm -hmm. I'm stretching your capacity. Mm -hmm. So you can be able to receive what's coming to you. How Amen. powerful is that? Amen. So Pastor Amen. Jennifer, give us a final thought. And then take us into prayer. Praise the Lord. Um, <clears throat> I was thinking about uh, when we in this. By the way, you need to get this book if you if you uh, it is you can download it on Kindle, your tablet, whatever. It is such an easy read. I had no idea yes. saying that. Um, th but in this book, he talks about Daniel did not have a formula. He had a voice. Yes. And you can be. We can be led by many things, but we must be led. The one thing we must be led yes, by the Spirit and the voice of God. Yes, ma'am. And so when, just like we referred to yesterday about Zacchaeus, to in, in order to hear on a higher level, you, yeah. you have in the proximity where he is, yes. you've got to be where you can hear me. That's so that means right. you, for me, fasting is to shut my voice down low so mm. I can hear his voice on high. My God. Because if I'm always, but God, but God, but God, but God, mm -hmm. when you're fasting, not just fasting, it's when you're fasting and praying, Yes, you hear more clearly. You love deeper. Yes. You worship yes. sweeter. Everything's uh, changed. You just, because, yes, because you've, you're humbling, you're humbling yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's, and you know, when you put your flesh down, mm -hmm. your spirit is finally saying, now I get to say something. Yes. Because, and then that's, of course, if you're, you know, flesh is more and more dominant than right. your spirit. But we know that, that we are spirit beings. So that's mm -hmm. the part that we have to make sure yes, we give daily devoted time to the Lord. It's so important that we're able to hear from him. Yes. Because he's always speaking, but we're not always listening. That's right. So for, for me, um, there was some things, that, like I was saying, that he was saying, that for me, it was questions that came to me. How desperate am I for change? Wow. Wow. There are some things in my life, uh, Pastor Jason, that I just, I was telling Pastor the other day, we were talking, and I said, you know, I don't think I've become desperate enough in that situation. Wow. Because when you're desperate, you you will know, people around you will know it. That's right. It, it's a cry that comes from, from so deep within, and God himself knows how desperate we we are. Yes. And so I'm thinking that when when we say that, and we, we have to be careful when we ask God to do that, when we ask God to enlarge and stretch us yes. and expand us, we have to be careful when we pray those things because he He is He is desiring yes. to do and be all that we want him to be. Amen. But he first begins, as you said, by decreasing or stripping those things away that we hold very valuable mm. to mm. us. And uh, what he wants to do is by, by stripping that away, he wants to reveal our true source of security, much like the tent pegs yes. of our true source of stability. Because if he is not God of all, mm. He's, not God, he's not God at all. Yes, ma'am. So those are things that he's showing me. He wants to change. Uh, he said, I want to change your surroundings. I want to change the comfortable way of you living. You know, we, we have what we call when the, when the pilgrims came from England mm -hmm. to settle. We call it settling. Where'd you settle down at? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want to be a settler. That's right. And it's not that I'm running from anything. That's it's right. just that if you know me for so long, I was tired of moving. Mm -hmm. so I was like, finally... I'm here mm -hmm. in abundant life. Thank you, God. Mm -hmm. Now I can rest. And he puts us with a man of God who's at the helm of a ship and said, ha, 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 here we go. Ain't That's nobody. Right. Saddle up your horses. We That's got a trail right. to blaze. That's right. Nobody ain't camping out here. We don't do none of that. That's right. And I thought, man. I thought I'd get to rest. And that's my flesh. Yes, my spirit is saying, no, 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 God, please don't leave me behind. Mm 
That's I right. want to be on the front line. I yes, want to be going. I want to be on the cutting edge. Yes, ma'am. Because I know you're saying a thing. And so I think we, when you know, when he wants to change our surroundings, we settle for the ordinary when he's wanting to expose us and reveal so much more to us. And he's trying to teach us that there is a season of expansion, which is what we're in now. Yes, ma'am. And he's desiring us to be greater. And he's desiring to take us to to deeper levels of surrendering. And that's what fasting is. Yes. Every time, every time I fast, I'm thinking, and I was sharing this too. Every time I fast, I'm thinking, okay, God, thank you so much for, for, for breakthrough last year. And yeah, there's levels. It's mm -hmm. like, I look at it like the onion. Yes. You, know, you have your onion and, and yes, it reeks of, of makes you cry. But when mm -hmm. you, if you've ever taken time mm -hmm. to peel an onion, there's a lot of layers, yes, so many layers before you get to the, the very center of it mm -hmm. and there's a lot of layers on us yes there's a lot that we uh there's some things that we allow god that he already knows he knows the thoughts and intents of our heart anyway we just like david mm -hmm. prayed search me oh god know my heart yeah try me and know my way see if there be any wicked way in me and then show me expose it examine mm -hmm. me lord and then lead me into the way everlasting so when i'm in those times of prayer and fasting and i'm asking god it's funny pastor jason how he always brings things that I thought I had dealt with mm. to the surface. Mm. And the only way to deal with that selfish pride is to first humble myself and go to the next level of surrender. Wow. So, you know, for me, visually, here I am again. Yeah. I have to have all these motion pictures. You know, I'd just be wealthy, worth a lot of money. You know, just <laughs> If I could just direct all the movies that I play in my mind. That's funny. The white flags that are that are blowing, you know, all, yeah. the, all the people that came off the hill. I see those people surrendering, mm -hmm. surrendering. But, you know, what I re what really hit me about worship, because worship is about surrendering, because mm -hmm. when you're worshiping him, you are surrendering. Yes. God, everything you are, I want. I yes. won't keep anything back from you. That's right. So we sing, you're all I want. We sing all those things. Mm -hmm. The deepest test about your full surrender in your heart mm -hmm. is when the pastor steps up and says, now it's time to give. Wow. That is the highest level of worship. And for so long, I didn't understand. I thought worship was all about music and mm -hmm. song. Mm -hmm. But it's when they say, now, let's worship God through the giving, the returning of the yeah. tithe and offering. Yeah. Let's worship God now. And, and, if, and if you're in a place where you will, you know, I, I tried that. I tried tithing, Pastor mm -hmm. Jason. You know, mm -hmm. I tried doing all that. If you're in a place where that's, you'll find out mm -hmm. what your true source is. Yes, if he is not God, of all, he is not God at all. Wow. And every fasting and prayer, every time that we are seeking the Lord, mm -hmm. he is always bringing you to a higher level yes. of surrender. You yes. can try to get around it. You can try to alienate yourself. Mm -hmm. You can try to isolate and say, that church is just flaky kooky. I don't mm -hmm. understand it. It's amazing how you can think that way, but there's 750 other people who are, who are on this ship moving forward mm -hmm. and cannot wait for more. Right. And I think today... Pastor Jason, with with the expansion of what God is saying, there has to be a release. Yes. We have to let go of what we think, God, we are so, this is so valuable. And God, if I give you this, yeah. I just, I really don't trust yes. you. I'm not, I'm not really sure. But like you said yesterday, the day before yesterday, mm -hmm. with Pastor Harold, I believe it was, mm -hmm. uh, or yesterday, I mean, I was watching today, sorry, whatever day this is, yeah. it doesn't matter, <laughs> God, you're there. That, that in order to go forward, in order to increase, in order to enlarge and expand and stretch forth, mm -hmm. we must deny. We yes. must decrease Jesus himself. We've got to let some stuff go. Jesus himself. Yeah. The birthing of all that that I, just, that I see in the spirit right now. Yeah. God had all these people pray yes. for him. These are all yours. Yes. That the, these are yours. These are mine. These are ours. Mm -hmm. all, all that he promised him. But yet the scripture says, and allow, may he see the reward. Yeah of his suffering. I don't count it suffering to be able to call out the champion in people. Yeah. I know that is my that is a mandate that's mm -hmm. been placed in a calling on my life yes. because I've tried to stop it and God always opens doors always for me to do, do it, it again. again. Yep. And to give birth to that. Yes, you're exhausted after mm -hmm. you give birth. Yes, there's a tiring time. Mm -hmm. There's a time of having to you know, get back, just, yeah. you know, get back to normal, what we call normal, mm -hmm. but it's never the same. That's right. When me and my husband first married, I couldn't wait to finally have a child mm -hmm. and all we had was each other mm -hmm. and then boom we have the baby and i'm like wow this instant love this instant emotion and i looked at him the first night he stayed in his crib and i said i can't imagine life without him yeah what did we do before this <laughs> and if god's going to bring more i'm yeah. looking at the stage now and the platform and i'm thinking wow 
we're starting to grow. But that, but then I hear that that part of the word that God mm-hmm. says. But it's as small. This is as small as it will ever yeah. be. And when we first came in this building, it was the same way. So as we pray today, I'd love for you to do this for us. Amen. I love that you would pray for us to expand our readiness. Amen. That's yes, what I God. keep hearing in the spirit. Expand yeah. your readiness. Hallelujah. God is about to do something huge in the lives of people. Amen. We Amen. need to expand our readiness. Thank Can you do that God. for us? Thank you, Father. Father, Thank we you, love Jesus. you so Lord much. We appreciate you. That you are so good to us, oh God. God. And Thank Father, you, right God. now you are saying a yes. thing in this room yes. and in the in in this territory, in this region, God, you are calling people. There are so many people that you desire to bring up to a higher level. And God, I speak by faith right now to stay ready, to be ready. God, help us to get our get ourselves ready to prepare, to prepare, to prepare. God, to make ready the room to enlarge, just like a woman prepares a nursery for the birth of her child. God, I thank you that we have everything in place. I thank you, God, you didn't call us to perfection. You didn't tell us that we had to be perfect, but you called us to maturity. And so, Father, I yes, thank you right God. now that we are all stepping up to the yes, next level. God. I thank you that yesterday is old. Yes. Father, yesterday is old bread. We cannot live any yes, longer by God. old bread. Yes, God. Father, I thank you that we desire the hot, fresh manna yes, of God, God. And you have something for us. You are In saying to us. Of Jesus. You're telling us to taste yes, and see. God. <laughs> you're telling us to taste yes, and see. God. That you're saying, taste and see yes, that I Lord. am good. And yes, what I Lord. have for you is greater thank than you, you've God. ever had before. Thank you, so, God. Father, we thank you yes, right Lord. now in the name of Jesus In the name for what of you are going Jesus. to do and pour out yes, not only God. in this generation yes, God. but in the generation to come yes, God. i thank you in father that even in our children's Jesus. ministry god you Lord are Rabbi speaking Sando of things even Rabbi in our Sando children's Rabbi ministry Rabbi you Rabbi are Rabbi Rabbi saying Rabbi that we have made them too yes, small God. in our eyes you are Rabbi saying Rabbi that we have Rabbi placed Rabbi them Rabbi at an age Rabbi. level where they cannot receive god we know better yes but lord i'm talking to the ones that have limited yes, that God. father you are a limitless god yes god and i thank you for the gifts that you have on the inside of them, the apostles, the prophets, yes, the pastors, yes. the teachers, the evangelists. God, I thank you yes, that they God. themselves don't even limit. Yes, they have God. childlike faith. So, Father, we look to that, and we ask you, yes, God, to God. increase our awareness to help Lord, us to I'm be ready. Da, 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 I thank you, God, that we are ready for yes, more. God. I yes, thank God. you, God, we are ready yes, to God. grow in this season, yes, God. to expand and enlarge yes, and increase. God. And, God, I thank in you that we release by faith. Yes. We hold nothing back. Yes. God, we give you full permission and yes, access God. to in have your way. Of Jesus. And we thank you for this, oh God. Yes, God. We praise you and we, we honor you. We bless you, Lord. We glorify your name. In yes, Jesus' God. name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We'll be right back here tomorrow. Until then, go out and make it the best day possible. God bless you. Hey, everybody. Pastor Jason here. We want to thank you for joining us for today's devotion. Remember to share it across your social media platforms. If you live in the South Atlanta area or the North Macon and Forsyth areas and you are looking for a great church where the power and the presence of God are on display, we would love to have you visit us at our Revival Center campus in Locust Grove, Georgia, or our Forsyth campus in Forsyth, Georgia. You can find information about these locations at our website, AbundantLifeChurch.com. Remember, it's time to stretch yourself. It's time to dream bigger. It's time to believe for the impossible. It's time to expand.